All right, my friends, today we're going to jump right into a fall DIY. I have a couple of things um, that it's in my thoughts that I wanted to share with you. I love making bows, all kinds of bows. And so I really don't know what they turn out to be until I'm done with them. I just kind of put like a concoction of different patterns together. And sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. So today will be um, more of a fall theme, putting some sunflowers, some cheetah prints, um, haven't decided all the colors until we get to the end. Of course, then you will see that. So that'll be a surprise to you. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the ends of them. One end I'm cutting at a slant. The other end I'm cutting as dovetail. And one of my favorite things I love to do is always put buffalo checks somewhere if I can possibly. It's just one of those things I still love, not tired of, but you do you. So if you don't like the buffalo check, put another pattern in, okay? So I'm just bunching them up in little loops. And as you can see, I'm gonna crisscross these two um, patterns and of course ribbon together. I believe both of these came from Hobby Lobby last year. I got them at 50% off. And so I'm trying to decide which way I really wanted to put the bow, decide to crisscross it. But looking at it now, I felt like I probably should have added a third pattern in there somewhere and um, yeah you'll take notice of that at the end so I just loop these little curly things that you can find at Dollar Tree bunch those up together just pinch them in your hands lay them over on the top You can also probably wind up using raffia for this as well if you have it. If you can't find raffia, you know that Dollar Tree is also carrying those like grass hoop um, skirts that are really cute. So grab those grass skirts, say that really fast by the way, <laughs> and um, cut those up and you can probably use that for your raffia. So I'm separating the raffia, just twisting it around my hand, more like looping it. See that off. I didn't get to see it. It's very simple. You can also just bump it. I'm just going to put them all together. So I think that is. Some people might want to put a cry behind this, but I like to use the popsicle. Well, they're not popsicles, these are actually pipe cleaners. But I like to use those only because if I make a mistake, then I can undo it and then put them back on. I just find it easier, so you just do you. Pushing it on. Locking it a little bit. Do you guys see? You know what I'm talking about? You can see the two bow styles, the big loops, but I really felt like I needed to add a bow on here. Most of the time I do, but I don't know why I didn't like this one. So I'm going to go back and clean it up. But I do like all the little cute little loops and loops in the front. And then I'm taking some of the fall flowers from last year. I'm just going to do those right in there. If you don't want to do this part, it's not necessary. But I wanted to bring a little bit of that color in and then these cute little sunflower stickers that someone sent me. I thought would be a cute little addition to add. Okay, 
Now we're going to put that cute little bright sunflower right in the center. Really simple, easy. Just twist it around, put it with it. Place it hard in the Holder that I have there and that's it my friends hello my friends today we are going to be doing um, a DIY it's going to be I guess fall theme but if you're into sunflowers and buffalo check it could be year-round depending on your taste so I just got an antibacterial uh, wipe to kind of help remove some of the stickiness of you know you see the tab that's here it makes it easier to remove and then I'm just putting a little bit of Mod Podge into a cup and I have this Buffalo check um, napkin. I, I have several of them honestly in my stash because I do like Buffalo check quite a bit. So I'm just taking the buff, um, taking the paste <laughs> of the Mod Podge and I'm just placing it all around the candle and then cutting it to fit the size of the candle, which you can find these at Dollar Tree, by the way. And I realized that there was two ply. I thought I had grabbed them all, but I didn't. So I had to go back over and do it again. But you know, that just happens. It happens to us all. So again, I'm just placing another thin coat of the Mod Podge all over this glass of the candle. And you can find these at Dollar Tree, by the way. They're so useful great little gifts I was making a decision on where I wanted to place it so I started to decide this the opposite end of what I was gonna do was my best choice and then wrap it around and smooth it out as you go and then that way you can try to make sure that your edges um, are straight and match your pattern you're just gonna tap a little bit of extra glue there, especially where the two ends are gonna meet, just to make sure you have that extra little bond. And then I'm gonna top around the very top of it, um, just to curve that napkin over the lip just a little bit. and then giving an extra little coverage there. Very light one, don't make it too wet because it will tear the napkin. Sorry about that. <laughs> I just realized I'm responding to a follower <laughs> uh, on my phone, I apologize. <laughs> So I have this sunflower uh, napkin that's left over from last year. Really cute pattern. And so I'm going to just cut this out and kind of trim around the outer edges of the flower. And I took a little bit of glue on the handle to make sure it would be easy enough to pull off.
but I'm starting to loop it around. You're just going to twist around, like I said, this two, three, four times. You can probably go up to five or six, depending on what you like. Now we're going to fix that problem where the jute wants to sit back on the very bottom. small little lip in this candle uh, that you will be able to just go right in that little invention with that lip. And then make it look very really natural. Like it was supposed to be in there. I wanted to add a little extra green. There we have it, my folks, a very simple, easy DIY for Sunflowers Buffalo Checks. So I hope that you really, really enjoy this. Go check out my blog.